God, I cannot wait until Wilson gets back from vacation. Godly. Look, man, Wilson is still going on vacation. So look, Wilson, if you're watching this video, please come back, bro. I need you. <laughs> I need the help. I gotta lug all this stuff around, do the camera stuff and everything else I have Wilson do. I didn't realize his value until he left. Anyways, man, I've got this big old duffel bag here full of Bluetooth speakers. Yep, that's what's in here, a bunch of Bluetooth speakers. Why? Because I felt like doing a little experiment because it is the summertime and people are hanging out by pools, going tubing, going, going to the lake and stuff. And I kind of just wanted to showcase some of the best Bluetooth speakers to take to the pool or to the lake because every speaker in here is waterproof. Not splash resistant, not water resistant, but waterproof. But uh, we gotta talk about some things first. So let me put this over to the side. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, I'm just, I'm, anyways. Now the IP67 rating and IP6 or IP7 rating, it's gonna get you the water and dust proof, like no ingress, okay? Now anything less than that can get you splash proof like IPX5 or IP5 or something like that. And that's what a lot of Bluetooth speakers are. So you won't see a lot of those on this in this video or none of those in this video because they're not waterproof. So those of you who are headed to the comments asking why don't I have the W King or this or that speaker, it's because it's not waterproof. Even though it was the best speaker of XYZ, it ain't waterproof, man. So these are officially waterproof. Already looked at the ratings and everything. And that, that, that's important because if you go to a um, like a lake, right? and your you know your your speaker like falls off the boat somehow or off the tube your speaker could be done you know what i'm saying <laughs> like and they're not they're not cheap dude these things get pretty expensive all the way up to like 350 bucks so let me show you what i got in here so first off we got the tribit stormbox pro okay and then we got oh this one right here this one is highly slept on this is the ue wonder boom 2. i absolutely love the button layout on here Tri tribit you know kind of copied it a little bit with their stuff on their um their stormbox speakers and it's you know what if it ain't broke don't fix it. i love the button layout on here it's huge you know you just you ain't got to think about it but this is highly slept on it's a 360 speaker has a great sound the only negative thing i see about this speaker is the usage of micro usb instead of usb c then we have oh this is one of my faves right here the jbl clip 4. i love 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 this speaker it is a beast a mini beast but it is still a beast there are <laughs> so we've already seen this one before, man. This is the, the Soundcore 3, I believe it's called. This thing has actually paid its dues in the durability test. I literally ran over it with my car and hit it with a baseball bat. And this is what's left of it, man. It still sounds fantastic. And of course it can take a beating. And even with this appearance right here, it is still waterproof. Then we have, let me see what else I got. Oh God, so this is where the weight comes from. This thing is super freaking heavy yet it is durable. Now, I hope you're noticing a trend right here. You got a lot of these speakers with this uh, this cloth mesh around them. It adds some durability as far as scratch resistance because you know you kind of fumble them around a little bit, but I think it also has some waterproofing uh, properties. But this is the, uh, the Sony XB43 right here, heavy tank of a speaker. And then let me reach into the bag. Oh, JBL again with the JBL Go 3. You see, you see my JBL trend going here. I really like that color, man. And then, what is this? Ah, JBL Charge 5. The JBL Charge 5, love using this speaker at my pool. I've actually compared this speaker to, let me see if I can just find it. Yeah, okay, so this is the Soundcore Motion Boom. And it's turning on right now. It's, it's ready for the show, let's turn it off. It's ready for the show. I actually compared these speakers as far as sound quality in a video recently, and also in durability. You know, uh, like I spoke about this cloth, uh, this cloth fabric right here, this mesh, I think it adds to the durability factor of some of these speakers because, you know, in small little drops or whatever, they just won't be ugly. Whereas, you know, if you have like all plastic, you, you're gonna scuff that plastic and there's really no recovering from that. Then we have, all right, what else we got? Ah, here we go. This is an oldie but a goodie. See, not all these have to be brand new, man, because I don't think the UE Wonder Boom 2, yeah, I know this didn't come out in 2021. And I think this one actually came out in 2019, the Motion Plus. This thing is a hell of a speaker, but it's waterproof, man. They were doing it back in 2019. So what else we got? What else, what else, what else? Oh my God. Okay, then we, ah, 
an all-time favorite right here. 360 South from Tribit. This is the OG Storm box right here. Let me see if I can pick this thing up now. Ah, uh, okay, we got the granddaddy here of the JBL, JBL Extreme 3. Put that one back here behind his little nephew. And then we will take uh, the Storm, the Tribit Storm Box Micro. Yeah, that's what that is, Storm Box Tribit Micro. It's got that mesh on it, so it's very durable. And you know what I've noticed with some of these? Some of these have the little port, which is plugged up. I want you to see this, man. Can you see that? This, this port is plugged up. So you have to plug that up in order to keep it waterproof, right? But the Micro here, it actually has an exposed USB-C port. Some of these have, like the JBL speakers, they have exposed um, micro USB port or is micro, you know what I mean, USB-C. <laughs> Do we have one more? Okay, we got two more left. We have one more from Soundcore, which is the, I think this is the Mini 3. It is, and it is completely waterproof. And then we have an, another one from Soundcore, go figure. <laughs> <laughs> another one from Soundcore. It's got the flap on it, you know, the little speaker booty to keep it waterproof. But this is the Flare 2, 360 degrees of sound. You got the light show in there. Excellent speaker that's not too big, not too small, produces a great sound, and you can just take this wherever you need to go. So, why, once again, why did I pick all of these speakers versus any other ones that I own, like the LGs and some others? It's because they are completely waterproof. So here's the thing, man. You're at the pool. Splash proof will only get you so so far. You know what I'm saying? If you're chilling at the pool and you know you do a, a cannonball in the pool and it goes and splashes all over the speaker, you're probably gonna be good to go. Actually, most likely, you're still going to have a great uh, performing speaker. However, if you have a batshit crazy dog like I do, who just tramples over everything, he will knock your speaker into the pool and then if it is not waterproof, your speaker is done. And this one right here costs 350 bucks. We're getting all, you know, even this little one, man, this one's $80 brand new or at retail anyway. So some of these speakers are fairly inexpensive, but some of them get pretty, pretty up there in price. So you don't want to lose your speaker just because you didn't realize it wasn't waterproof. And let's say you're in the lake. Here's where some other things come in that you don't even realize that we're going to test. Uh, let's say you're at the lake and you got this, um, you know, you got one of these speakers on your float or your boat, right? Speaker falls off. You're in the lake, homie. Your speaker's gone. It's not only damaged because it's not waterproof, but it's also gone because it does not float. So in the event that it does float, like some of these might, I don't think all of these will not float. In the event that it does float, at least you can recover your speaker and it's still going to work because it's waterproof. And let's do another thing, man. If it does float, does it float with the grills up, with the drivers up? That way you can just have it in the pool floating around and listening to music as it's floating around the pool. That would be pretty awesome, right? Let's just take this to my highly controlled waterproof environment or waterproof testing environment to see how these things perform with the, you know, with the splash and dunk test. You know what I'm saying? I, I just, I just want to see how this works out. So let's take it there, man. Man, I wish Wilson was here to help me pack up, but uh, I'll get it. I'll meet y'all over there. Okay, I think this is actually going to be a real good test because I think we're about to get a short little thunderstorm coming through here. And what could be a better test than not only dunking them in a swimming pool, but also getting a nice little thunder shower over them. Anyways, I got all the speakers up here on the fountain. They are, some of them are getting splashed. Some of them are kind of sitting in a little pool of water, but here they are right here. You'll see I got, uh, I got them all ranging from, from different sizes and stuff. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this test because I got probably 12 or 13 speakers here and to pair them all up and turn them on, that's gonna be kinda, kinda tedious, but you know, I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. It's booming. All right. <laughs> and it floats, so it does, it's still beating. Let me just kinda, all right, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's doing its thing, man. Let me put the phone right here. Hold up. All right, it's it's beating up the water. It, it it does float. I mean, there is. I mean, it's really wanting to come back up, and it's still playing. But here's the thing: it floats uh, face down, so you're not gonna get to play this thing while it's floating in the pool. But it will survive. Okay, it will survive. So let's just chunk that one over there. Okay, there's your tribe at storm box right there, and down it goes. Ooh, man, this thing is taking a long time to come up. Okay, but it's still playing. You can see 
it's still giving you that 360 under there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It does float, but it, it doesn't have as much. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that thing is. Oh, it's gone, man. It turned off. Hold up. Does it not work anymore? Hold up now. Okay, yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. And it's still beating. Okay. Hey, try bit storm box. Makes the cut, but it does not float. That sucker is it's floating now, as you can see right there, but it sunk a little bit. Let's let's tighten up this test. So it will float, but it doesn't take much to get it to sink. But ultimately it does float. Okay, good. Okay, it does float, but you cannot listen to it in the water. Okay, there's our Storm Box Pro right there. Let's go ahead and just drop it. See what happens. Oh, that sucker is floating and I can still hear it. All right, you hear that? Okay, so it's still playing. Well, whoops. <laughs> it's still playing, but gotta shake that water out of it. Yeah, you gotta shake the water off and let it dry off or it's not gonna sound that good because it's like really distorted right now, but it does float. It does float. All right, we got the sound core flare too. Let's just toss this thing up in the air. <laughs> I like sound core speakers because you can really beat the crap out of them and they just keep working. All right. Okay, same with the sound core flare. It floats. However, you really need to dry this thing off before you start playing it again, or it's just gonna sound like garbage because of the water, you know, spattering across the drivers. But it's, it's floating. So far, we got four floaters here. All right, uh, let's go to the Soundcore. This is Soundcore Mini 3, I believe it is. Now, this is a good one right here for just personal or two-person chilling. Let's, oh, whoa, I almost hit myself with that thing. It is a floater though but it does not float with the driver up, which is a common trait amongst these five so far, but it will float. So you can actually retrieve this thing if need be. And it pops up pretty quickly, even if you try to force it down. Okay. Ah, and you don't have to clear the drivers off. Okay. Okay, so after this one has been submerged, you don't have to wait for the drivers to clear off or shake them off. It was jamming right out of the water. What's next? The JBL Clip 4. <laughs> All right, it's in there. It's in there. Is it coming back up though? Is it, oh, that thing is down there. I thought that one was gonna float. Oh man, it is down there. Hold up, bro, hold up. I thought, I thought it was gonna float. No, man, that thing is down there. Yeah, it ain't coming back. Okay, so we got some pros and cons. This thing will not float. However, when you pull it out of the water, you can just go ahead and start jamming all over again because you don't have to clean off the drivers or dry them out before you can jam again. Man, that was pretty shocking. I thought the JBL was gonna float. Okay, there it is. Man, that was a loud little pop. It's still beating, man. Check that out. Okay, it floats. However, it is face down, so you cannot you cannot bump this thing while it's in the water. But I mean, that's a, that's not bad, man. Let's clear off this. Let's get that mud off of there and clear that, uh, clear that radiator off. It's got mud caked on it. Cause I got sound coming out of the radiator. Hey man, even though this thing floats face down, that's really not that bad, man. I could actually chill to this right here. Let's see what this looks like underneath. Okay, so those are those drivers. <laughs> <laughs> this little thing, this has got to be one of my favorites, dude. Okay, now this one is another fave, so let's just hope this one does well on the test. Put that play button on, and... Oh, damn. All right, Tribit. <laughs> the Tribit Storebox Micro is a sinker, man. Okay, it is not playing, but let's see if... Let's see. Will it play? Did I just mess up my speaker? Ah, there it is. Okay. Once again, it will make it. However, you got to let that driver dry out. So now we will move on to, let's go to the JBL Charge 5 right here. Okay, sound is not an issue for this thing, but is water an issue? 
<laughs> that thing is still beating. <laughs> All right, it floats face front. So it floats like you would sit it up on a table, which is no good because you can't hear it. <laughs> but it does float. And Okay, you don't really need to clean out the drivers. So let's leave that in here because it floats. All right, let's go to the uh, let's go to the to the Wonder Boom, man. Let's see how this one is going to perform. This little cannon right here. Wonder Boom 2. Does it sink or oh, it, it's a floater and it's a 360 speaker, so you can hear it. But this is not good audio quality right here. And it is a floater. Hey, that's all right. This one, as soon as you retrieve it from the water, you can keep jamming, don't have to clear anything out. That actually sounded really good coming out of the water. All right, let's get it, Soundcore. Here we go. Man, <laughs> that one made a big splash. Now, is it gonna sink though? Oh man, is it coming back up? Is it? Oh, it rode, well, it's barely rising to the occasion. And it is not playing. It is not playing. So what is the fate of the Soundcore Motion Plus? Let's see if it plays. Uh-oh. Ah! So I wonder what the deal is, why they turn off or why they pause when they hit the water. Um, a few of them have actually paused when they hit the water. Didn't got to hit play again. I wonder what that what that's all about. But um, this one actually does sound good coming straight out of the water. So no need to, you know, try to, you know, let it air out or anything like that. Let's go to the Sony. It's right here in my face. Let's get this one powered up. I haven't listened to this one in a while. This is a great sounding speaker, man. But it is so heavy that it should have come with a handle. All right, I'm literally feeling the bass from this thing. This is a nice sounding speaker, but it's so freaking heavy. Okay, that's full blast. Man. Damn. Uh-oh. It's gone, man. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> that one ain't coming back, man. It's, it's gone. Okay. All right, the Sony still jams hard as soon as you retrieve it, but you might not. If you're at a pool, you will get this thing back. If you're at a lake, this thing is going to the bottom so fast. So be careful taking that thing out to a lake or something like that. Now we got the two JBLs here. Uh, let's do the Go. This is a pretty popular speaker, man. This is the JBL Go 3. All right, got my guy turned up full blast. Okay, there it is. Are you a sinker? Come on. I thought these were going to float. I thought these little JBLs would float. Oh, these are not floaters, man. They are not floaters. Look at that. It's it's down there. I can't get it. <laughs> I can't get it. You might have to stay down there, homie. It's not a floater. So, but does it play? Does it still jam right out of the water? Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Let's turn it off. Oh man, let me hurry up before that storm comes. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Okay guys, <laughs> the storm is coming in. We got one more, it's the JBL Extreme 3. Did I get the hell out of this water? Okay, there's your JBL Extreme 3. Damn. Wow, that thing didn't even go down. Let's do that again, hold up. This is a real floater. Dang! Okay, so not only does it float, it sounds good right out of the water. Damn. I'm gonna mess up my microphone. All right, this, this one's, yeah. Damn, okay. I'm impressed. I, I, I'm impressed, I'm really impressed. This one actually did float. Like, it didn't even go down, it was like, it, it didn't go dookle, it went dookle, <laughs> and it came right back up, and it still jams hard, fresh out of the water. Look, I hope this test was some, of somewhat value to you guys, because this is something that I don't see a lot of on YouTube, especially with comparisons. Uh, some people buy a speaker on purpose to take to a pool party 
and you never know how durable that speaker is until that durability test shows up in real life. And sometimes that might be too late because you didn't already bought it. So now you know what speakers of these you could actually take to a lake and possibly uh, have it fall off and you can recover it. Or if it's at a pool and it falls in, can you start jamming right away? Or are you gonna have to wait a while for the drivers to dry out? I, I didn't even really consider that until now. But yeah, man, hopefully this test was of value to somebody out there. And uh, the storm seems to have kind of subsided. It's like on the other side of me, but the clouds are moving really fast. So I'm gonna get my ass out of this water. <laughs> so I could keep making videos. Y'all keep being good. Uh, Y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Man, it'd be the ones closest to you. I'll see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?